to go up to my balcony. I don't know about you. Sorry, but... man. I, I like to be on you know, the front on lines. Level, afraid of heights, I On see. the front lines, man. <laughs> nah. Afraid of heights, I see. I'm not. On the front lines. Oh, I guess we're started. Uh-huh. All there right, we guys. We got Alex, the warlord, versus Mason, the warlord. It's a balance versus a myth. Should be a pretty really exciting match to go and take a look. So we start right. off with Brace. Oh, we should probably right, the cards is... that they have. Oh, like, yeah, so, definitely. Sorry about that. We should do that. Um... All right. So on broadcast team, uh, so... Let's see. So the cards that he has remaining are... Mm -hmm. uh, so Alex has Stunblock, Legend Shield, Lore, Ninja Pigs, Scorpion, and Spectral. Oh, Ninja okay. Pigs, Piglet, sorry. Okay. So um, nothing really high. Mycin has then. Saga of Heroes, Time of Legend, Tower Shield, and Japik and Brace and Troll. So I'm gonna just paste this in in chat just so everyone can see. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what they have. I don't know what their bands were. Uh, let me take a look at what the bands were in the bands chat. Why do you think he went with Legion Shield over anything else though? For Alex. No, Legend Shield, sorry, it's Legend Shield, not Legion Shield. Oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Again, okay, that makes way more sense. I'm... Yeah, like if you look at it far, yeah, it's like Legion. Yeah, I was uh, like, legend. wait, Legion? Yeah, le I was legend, like, makes... legend is the set shield. I, I guess he just doesn't have a, like, you know, an 80 myth shield for whatever reason, but. Yeah. I mean, you know, 70 is still really good, though. 70 is really good. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't wonder what was banned. Uh, let me find out in the. In, That'll be really in interesting. Room. If you pull that, yeah. I definitely see this happening. They're going to keep trying to get rid of each other's shields. Um, since they're limited on cards and none of them have reshuffles, uh, not reshuffles, but shatters, I feel that Alex is just going to try to keep stacking. Just keep stacking. All right, so Availing was banned on Alex's mm -hmm. side. So he, so he, Availing was taken away. Now what else was taken away? So they didn't say that spells are banned. It's just what spells started off and what are different. Or mm -hmm. even ones left over. So I have to actually figure that. Uh-huh. So Avalian was banned, so he can't heal. He had he has no other heals in his deck for Alex. Yeah, that's the thing. All right. Uh, so King Art's banned on on, on Mycin's side. Mm -hmm. Oh, King Art and Talos. Okay, so that's so that's what was taken away uh, for Mycin. King Art and Talos. Okay, that's actually a smart move, especially with the King Art part. This this they're actually doing really good damage, super early game. I'm I'm impressed. Indeed, I'm not uh, you know these are pretty powerful spells for sure. Uh, yeah, especially like, spectral uh, as a way to go around the balance resists as well. So. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, now the good news for Mycin, he has, um, I think like, like fifty four ish resist universally compared mm -hmm. to, so like he, he so he's not naked in terms of resistance. He still has some resistance. Yeah, but he he he. he could you have changed your gear after cards were picked? Or no, not? your gear's locked in, I believe. Oh, okay. So that's where I see he messed up. Oh, uh, that's that's doing large damage. Wow, this, this match is going on a lot faster than we I, thought it would be. I honestly special think blast is that yeah. I guess special blacks probably should have been a cardi banned. Honestly. Yeah, he did not see this coming. Was coming because spectral blast only does like what 400, 500, or like six hundred damage or something like that. He did not expect it to do that much damage. This could be G. It's not. Well, this won't. But yeah, I want to say it's coming really, really turn. close though. Yeah, I want to say in the next few turns. Oh yeah, balance spells are obviously a lot like slower. So as long as he's using spectral though, I guess spectral would be his thing. He is fail pipping mm -hmm. though. He is fail pipping. As, That's the problem. He has yeah, because because uh, uh, his it looks like his gear set was going for crit balance, crit crit decently high balance with seventy myth mm -hmm. resist. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's looking rough, his, honestly. His pit percentage is 98, so it's not low, but that 2% was kicking in just like yesterday when we were, we were watching that math ma ma match when that myth got two failed pips and ended up losing the game. This is exactly just being recreated right now. Oh, Brace was the other spell that was removed. Brace? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next time, uh, Ref should probably mention the spells that are banned just so we can explicitly see. Yeah, that would be see. really nice. Because so yeah, it's what like strategy. I have to take a look and kind of guess and they all blend in without mm -hmm. explicitly mentioning it. Yeah. 
because you see what the other opponent uh, strategy is because he needs to uh, get yeah so we understand what they were going for so you know one guy was going for healing while the other mm -hmm. guy was trying to go with some um strong or ult hits yeah, yeah. yeah or at least trying to go with minion support because Alos is really dangerous so they're gonna pick what cards they want to ban again right yeah, for, for next match. Um, oh, 100% he's getting rid of uh, Spectral Blast. If he doesn't get rid of Spectral Blast, this is not going to end well yeah, for him. Yeah, because Spectral goes around his whole defensive strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. of course, he could always like, try Hydra or Chimera, but those are more expensive, which, which would be a benefit to him to at least mitigate like uh, any barrages that could come up on him. Yeah, yeah, especially if he's throwing up Tower Shields. The problem with... Um, with Spectral Blast, it goes through, it, it hits that one tower shield. If you go with a Hydra, yes, it's going to do less damage per head. But, yeah, but you but you go around it twice. It's very good in terms of offensive power, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, my, yeah, my, yeah, Mycin's in the trouble, though. Like, he, he, yeah. he went with a Balance Mastery, I assume, probably to do Reshuffle, but he may just want to switch out of the life, honestly, here. Life mm -hmm. and try to go with some healing, though, of course, his uh, opponent could try to ban that, but that could be a benefit to get Talos or any other support out. Uh, I still find this incredible, though. This is this is game. Well, no, he has resistance to it, so I don't think it's doing 500. If it was, a, if it I mean, was really a critical, close. though, because his crit is true, he would crazy. have a crit to go around that as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, one guy's going to set one guy on. almost all game. Yeah, he has what like five, six hundred, or, or okay, seven hundred. Like, like it's crazy. He needs to do something right now. Yeah, I just don't see um, this match really going out. Yeah. Well, just based on the circumstances. So this is GG for Alex, yeah. It, it is a very good um, education, though, to Mycin on figuring out what to do what in the future. I don't think he saw that coming. I don't think he, he, he like, what he I, thought I, about yeah, was balance. Like, balance if is he, though, probably, you know, let's just say, if he were to redo the match, he would mm -hmm. probably want it to have a, the, um, to have all elemental resist. Though the, the, oh, the issue yeah. with that is, balance, as balance is so yeah. versatile, um, they could just go. He could go with Chimera. Now the good news is, mm -hmm. he, like he could have just potentially banned that, and then made uh -huh, it where uh -huh. the effectiveness of you know, Chimera or uh, Chimera, or, 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 or the effectiveness Chimera of like, Hydra or, or uh, Spectral yeah. wouldn't be as high. Because oh, yeah, those yeah. those are the ways for balance to go around set resist. Like most other schools, you're stuck to set resist. But like here, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's it's real nasty though, so for, for sure. Like. This match honestly may just go over to Alex uh, in the feature, but that is indeed yeah. uh, one and all. Uh, of course, we have more matches, so that was because <laughs> he did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I I thought he was gonna go with more balance hits, because usually you know you don't see spectral blast that much. I feel uh, it totally slipped my mind, and just seeing that casted and dealing so much damage because of balance crit that he went with instead of that. You know, even though he was failing pips, even though he was yeah, lacking some. Yeah, so effective for, for him, he always has a 75 blade on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I should probably. All right. So uh, they say that Alex will be going first. Indeed. Because... Uh, part, part of our rules, you can take a look at the exact uh, wording here in the rules. Well, on those such rules. So pretty much they switch turns. So that means uh, Mick, um, Mikan. Is it Mikan? My Mason. Mason will go next first, right? Alright, so it looks like Brace and Troll, um, Talos. Wait, um. Troll was banned? Who um. Panda? The Panda has not been declared yet. We're probably gonna we'll do be it driving either it. towards the end of the game. Uh, end of we this can do it now, though. We can do it now? Alright, we're doing it now, guys. Who is ready to win that Panda? Last oh. chance to put in Nani. Panda. Not only did. Oh, okay. He's going. I'll in. give it away. Uh, anyway, so commentary. Um, let's go. Let's go. All right. The minus twenty. Trace. You think Alex will be as aggressive as last time or not? I don't know, man. Uh, he doesn't have spectral anymore, so his spectral loophole around the resistance uh -huh. has been closed. And it did we see any elementals? I I didn't. I didn't hear you if you said any. Did we see, I mean, any like elemental or spirit uh, black? Uh, according to the team, so the spells that are allowed, the spells that uh -huh. were not taken out from their ban was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mason has Saga Heroes, Time of Legend, Tower Shield, Talos, Brace, and Troll. So he has Talos and bo both Talos and Brace. So he has 
like really really good cards like he has the minion that's going to be really really dangerous mm -hmm, for, for mm -hmm. the opponent yeah race has a really great way to you know, survive four turns uh with just extra 20 resistance yeah but he has to pull up the minion really quickly uh, though because true, as you true. see alex is already stacking and if like he stacks he up that. more he won't have any way to get rid of the shield especially for distractions as well uh, mm -hmm. Now, well, Alex has Sunblock, Brace, Legend Shield, Lord, Ninja, Piglets, and Scorpion. So, so Alex was still trying to think, okay, he was going to get stunned. Now, to be fair, that still is useful with Talos, because Talos can stun. Now, my sense doesn't have anything that is that dangerous, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we see we see Mason's uh, critical kicking in, so I'm hoping that with his hits, it will kind of, you know, rub on some luck with that, extra, with that wand crit. Oh, yeah, that, you know... One, yeah. one of criticals are obviously the most important mm -hmm. for luck, mal luck malevolation. So, you know, both mm -hmm. have braces available. You know, both were left as the free spells. Uh huh. You got to remember, though, Mason's last turn is right now. Um, Alex, I'm guessing, is saving up pips and so, is going to start hitting yeah, very soon. Yeah, so the spells soon. that uh, were banned from Alex were availing hands again, but this time spectral. So, so that brace is was banned before, but it was just kind of exchange as like, brace means nothing. When if you can deal that much damage, yeah, like, like I would it, hit through that twenty percent. But that, that damage, though, that damage is insane. Now, with my son, I, I assume, and, and thanks, refs, for not telling me exactly what spells. Ooh, Ninja Piglet, though. Go. So he has this. So I believe was this the first time seeing like Piglet's Ashley. This use? is the first time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so the first time seeing that Ashley actually is. We saw Ninja Pigs yesterday. I mean, um, earlier by uh, Mason, but this is the first time we see that. Yeah, He's dealing less damage right now. He's probably going to have to. Um, there's the Talos, though. Minion. This is a really good call. I'm hoping to, uh, Talos actually works and gets rid of the shield so um, Mason can actually start hitting. Because he has pips, he has everything right now. Ooh, this is definitely targeted towards the minion. Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to be With a critical, quick. that might be. Yep. Oh, yeah. Rest so that's that crit that would have not killed. Because Talos does have a you know a, a mass of 1k health pool, mm -hmm. which would make Alex, it aware in most cases, Alex it is or has to go ahead and kill him um, uh, yeah. with a higher pep spell. But as he was lucky yeah. because of his build, well as as his build allows crits, it really does this allow him to crit. pull it out crit cheaply though. So much. But the fact that he did is just relentlessly saying, nope. Nope, I'm still getting talent. I love so, that. So, so one way or another, it's it, it is a way to delay and at least take some of the scorpions out of them. Yeah, you won, Nani. Mm -hmm. I uh, DM DM the code in in Discord. Congratulations, Nani, on winning. Ooh, another ninja piglets. Uh -huh. Now, the question is, who's uh -huh. who will be targeted to? On uh, the minion. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good actually. So in reality, um, what he's doing is doing damage mitigation just by summoning the minion. Yeah. Yeah. No, even the minions do nothing, even though it was some pip. Oh, another, another minion. minion. He predicted that very well. Do you so, think yeah, uh, he's just taking out his TCs, honestly, and some of his cards? Uh -huh. Of course, he has reshuffle, so he does technically have. Well, neither of them have enchantments, so I guess they're, they're just trying, trying to TC use each other's uh, bra or braces, uh, use each other's uh, TC pool, and eventually run out because Nice and effectively mm -hmm. has a limited um, Talos is just based alone from reshuffle. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So I mean, th th there's a lot of room for that, and and the okay. minion's already paying off just by giving them a, a blade though. Like the minion would have done it a little bit better if he had done any hits to get rid of that myth shield. Because the thing is with uh, Mycin is he can't hit yet. It's still an advantage doesn't... regardless. Um, now, mm -hmm. no critical this time. The minion lives. Yeah, minion lives. Yeah. So literally, that critical is the only way that dies. Even with his high res or his high damage. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of hits, though, he's doing the hit. He's taking the shield off, so uh, it's next it's, turn we might see he something feels pretty happen. Pretty good. They say next him turn we might see something or something. happen. I think Alex will counter this and throw up a shield. Definitely, it has to be. He Alex Alex the whole game has not been open. He won't leave it like this. Oh. All right, I was proven really wrong right now. He takes out the minion, but a little bit too late. With a troll. He saw that he predicted the shield and wanted to kill. Okay. How much will this do? 
Yeah, nice 1400 though. That's you know, that's decent damage right there. Yeah, he's, especially for like he's that whittling cart. down. Like neither of them mm. can heal though, so you know, it's kind of important. You know, whoever gets gets um, the most amount of consistent damage uh, throughput can do well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can do well. All right, oh. another Talon. Talos, not Talon. Talos. <laughs> oh, I mean that could be a nickname for Talos though. I mean, true, if, true. If that's your thing. If that's your thing. True. Talon? Nickname? <laughs> Another ninja of piglets, though. Like, they just keep, keep on coming. They keep on coming. Yeah. The thing is, those are enchanted ninja pig uh, ninja piglets for dealing yeah, that yeah. much damage. Yeah, and, and the reason why he's using them uh, so much compared to, like, lore masters, lore masters are, are, um, have a cooldown and are capped at two per reshuffle. Yeah. He's being smart with his lore masters very yeah, much. Yeah, he uses them when he really needs them. Yeah, you know, the thing for Myson though is he he has a lot of the different, or he has a bunch of bunch of bubble options. He has Pierce bubbles, mm -hmm. he has uh, damage bubbles, and because his uh, opponent doesn't have easy access to a damage bubble, yeah, he just has to survive through that. But like, it's a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. No, I definitely see Mason. Uh, Mason learned from his mistakes and is kind of working better to counter it. Oh yeah, he, he chose the right cards because he didn't uh, take an account of the Spectral Blast's effectiveness, mm -hmm. but... I mean, here we are, though. Um, with that critical? And that could literally be anyone's One game, game, though, just for how well they play. True, so true. Alex ha has a lot of those extra pips, so he's able to do his damage, damage lots of damage. But, Mysons keep putting on Talos just to, as a good distraction, and yeah, whether the distraction yeah. doesn't get killed in a round or two, he can get some benefit, though, from Talos. Mm -hmm. He can get blades. Arguably, he's hits. just getting. Arguably, uh, Mysa would have been a lot further down in health if mm -hmm. um, Talos hasn't been, or if, if Talos wasn't targeted all the, all the time. Like, he's literally trading pips for damage mitigation. So in a way, you, you can call it kind of a heal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for summoning Talos. Oh, he comes in with a reshuffle. Yeah, that that um, that mastery definitely is paying off for him in, ch in choosing 100%. that. And look at those failed pips on Alex, though. Yeah, like you're know, going with this uh, interesting, um, interesting. Look crit, how much this, going on this crit, crit, uh, crit high damage build. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing, though. You would not expect pips. a two percent to do this much. I bet Alex right now is raging in his chair because of that. Now that is he's I believe still, his second lore master, so he's gonna have to reshuffle for more, but. Inevitably, mm -hmm. he'll reshuffle this inevitably for cards. Mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. that weak, or that mantle just didn't do anything at all. He still got his tower off, but there's a weakness. Yeah. Of course, there are wands for a reason, so. We'll see, we'll see what happens, though. We'll see, we'll see how effective it is. All right, Speaking of wands, the though. Well, uh, Alex is using that to do a shield removal. Mm hmm. The thing is with wand. Wait, if he throws a reshuffle, he's good. Oh yeah, you know, Mice is trying to, you know, build the back, weakness. build back up yeah. his pips. I see another minion being summoned very soon. Do you, do you think it's going to do like a three pip minion, just just to avoid damage? Um, yeah, I want to say yeah, because because it's been so beneficial. Imagine, imagine yeah, like, getting just having those... him around for that alone is really good, and because, because he has enough like health, a it's a distraction now. A scorpion. Exactly. Some, most of the time kills it, but sometimes it doesn't, so it can survive mm -hmm. a little extra. And then you waste two turns instead of one on killing him. That's why he's been... Because he learned from that. See, I told you another minion. Because when he did a scorpion first time, it killed, and he was like, this will work. Second time, it didn't. did 900, so he had to waste two turns to kill the minion, which pretty much kind of was a big penalty on Alex's side, because that's another turn of not shielding or not, you know, dealing damage to... Uh, yeah, he's Mason. either wasting one one turn's worth of pips or two turns worth of pips. Like, Mason is going down in health re really quickly now, but... Oh, he Ooh. oh yeah, he, he's just not taking the minion, but you know, it if, if Mason gets lucky enough, the minion can start doing some real effective things. There we go. It's gonna you know, start hitting. It, it works on hitting, you know, shield removal, um... Or even some blades and other stuff like you know. Yeah. I get, you know, See that get, trap right there. Trap as well. I the mean, thing is, I don't think I think he's gonna keep, keep targeting Mason. The minion isn't gonna be that uh, beneficial to target unless or it, take out. It's a stun or something. Wow. Yeah. 
That shield is good. That neglects a lot. Another shield. The thing with Mason is he has no, he can't set. The only thing he can do is a 50%. Another guy has decent resist. I mean, decent pierce. Yeah, that's, so. that's one of the other issues with balance. You, you can only um, stat, set, uh, stat set in, instead of mm -hmm. doing a mm -hmm. set shield. There's, there's no AD balance shields for some reason. And since resist is uh, capped at 70, you know, both of them are pretty much equal. Oh, yeah. He's going out for the minion. So even then, that not minion... Not critical, not killing. Yep. Minion lives another has turn. Has a lot of... A lot of effectiveness going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, he, he got himself you know, some buffs, and it's still anyone's game though. This is what I'm impressed by. Although and some Mason health survivability, so, so effectively Alex did kind of waste a turn because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he didn't. And get... he has to waste another. He's he's not going to go. Yeah, for so minions. so that's really making it where he can survive. So I mean, of course it's 4.3k health, but there could mm -hmm. still be a comeback though. 100%. He's he's stacking up pips way more than Alex. Alex. Um, has two options, either to target the minion, which I think he did with that scorpion, uh, wasting two turns. And now he gets the critical when he doesn't need it. That's the funny part about critical. <laughs> now, the issue with Mycin, though, is he doesn't really have any mid-tier hits, so he's kind of stuck with Troll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because if you look at it, he has Talos, and Troll is his only way to attempt to defeat the opponent. So he kind of put himself in a corner, too. Because mm -hmm. he also tried to put Athena, but like, Athena was banned. Yeah. Along yeah. with Ninja so, 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 so the opponent realized, wait, I could just go and uh, ban your two larger spells and force you to do a really low pip spell. So so he's he's in a corner, so Mycin arguably could lose. It, but it depends on, on kind of how lucky he is, because you know Alexa has as east and four pip hitting spell while mm. all, all Mycin has is his minion and troll. Yeah. So you could argue he might have uh, buried himself um, in in his match. He might have buried himself. I see. I see if the same strat keeps going though, because of those were, two were there any rules shield? on Medusa? No, Medusa wasn't chosen, but Medusa might have been banned. But it might have been Medusa a benefit. It might have been, been a yeah. benefit instead of like uh, Ninja Pigs. You could have put Medusa in uh, that way instead of like Ninja Pigs being banned. It would be Medusa, but you would still mm -hmm. have like Athena Balsite as a card to have as a offensive and defensive True. utility. Of that well, that's the point of this game mode: is you gotta cool. outthink your opponent. You gotta make him ban the cards that you don't want. Yeah. But he thinks that. So Mason made some potential critical mistakes on not having high enough spells to kill. Though, you know, Alex went from four to now two point five. So exactly, this is it is working he, out, and he has bubble control, which is what matters for him. I see another minion being casted right now because um, Mason knows that Alex does not want the minions up. Yeah, because the minions is dangerous enough. To get rid of shields, to play, yeah. So, so like that's trap. literally the only reason he's alive now. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, because, waste, look how many quote, quote, using those pips on minion is really, really effective. Are we going on six minions right now? Probably. We're going probably on six, seven minions. Six, that's six. That's six, seven thousand damage. We're going on a lot, which is six thousand, six thousand, seven thousand damage that could have been dealt to Mason. Even with tower shields, that would have still did his damage. You know, that would have still killed. The fact that the minion is acting as a shield, it's the minion is acting better than the tower shields he's putting on right now, technically. Oh yeah. And with that blade, you know, if if that's another one K if Alex doesn't shield right now. Oh, he has a shield on. So Mason will probably pull up a shield. Uh, he will expect the minion to uh, hit take that shield off. All right. So so he's doing a scorpion now. Hopefully for Mason that won't crit. Mm -hmm. Critical right Security there. Blocks. Yeah, like, and it's just barely enough uh, to to kill though. So, mm -hmm. so it was pip, mm -hmm. it was it was pip efficient for Alex, but mm -hmm. that still is, you know, one k health less hit yeah. than you know, Ninja Piglet's. You know, a, a little more, a little more than that. And but Alex doesn't that. have enough pips. He can't he he can't hit right now and counter it next turn. Oh, reshuffle. Okay. Yeah, he's that. running out of cards. Though that means he gets he a remember, lore master lore back, lore though. He gets his lore master. Exactly. Mensen? Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was saying his name wrong. So he does have a clear open hit, though, at least. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're now at Equally equal health. health now. But uh, Mensen. Is, is it Mensen? Uh, Mason. That's, saying, that's how I pronounce it. It's Mason. I've been saying it Mason. Don't I'm worry. So sorry. They, we're all bad with names. Like, exactly. I'm so sorry, Mason, if you're watching. But Mason, right now, Mason, with another troll, he's gonna keep hitting. Mason. 
Mycin. 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 Okay. Ooh, the crit though. He definitely needs that in his life. Ooh, 400. Wow. Like, this match literally... How do you think Alex can counter this? Because this? Alex can hit right so now, weird. but he can't kill. There, he has two tower shields. All right, all right. Yeah, he has two, he has two towers. You think he hit or went for a minion? Well, he has to do it next. Well, he has to hit now. So he, so oh. I guess Alex is just going on, on bombardment mode as mm -hmm. the minion requires uh, five pips, so he would need an extra pip. Uh, unless he pip conserves. He has really high pip conversion. True. But arguably, though, I mean, well, I guess I guess Alex could just... Well, I guess he could shield, but then that at least gives him extra stuff to do. So by mm -hmm. shielding and trying to wait it out, he's getting more pips, so he's going to able to do more damage and get through True. the shields. Though I don't know if it's if it's too late to be um, to be good now. Like he's just in desperation. Neither of them have. He needs a critical healings. right now. There we go. This could be. This is game. This is done. Oh, 29 oh. health. He is hanging on by a thread. If Myson does not have an extra troll, he, it, then then it could be dangerous. I don't. I don't Watch think Lore Master is going to do anything, really. Well, okay, no, only, it will do so. It, it could be a mantle that fizzles. could be effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But okay, I highly so the mantle doubt is it, probably though. the only effective part. Now, like the worst part is this won't kill. Like, it, he has the set, the seventy set resist. It, mm -hmm. like he wants the mantle, but I don't know even then with the mantle. My, well, what would he have done though? There's nothing else. Ninja there's nothing else. Like less Alex was lo looking really good before, but it literally mm -hmm. changed. Like. This was impressive. I I, I was kind of looking down. I was kind of not. I wasn't having the best of hope for Mycin because it was looking pretty bad. Um, but at the same time, he had the better deck against Mace against Alex's deck, and the minion really allowed him to do to mitigate all the damage. Wow. Well, the thing is, what what I feel the strong suit of Mason and Alex was kind of hoping he would not do is the fact that he kept summoning minions. I honestly, if I was uh, if I was Mycin or Mason, I would have- He's just uh, relentless on, on I keeping I would have stopped alive. summoning minions. Yeah, yeah. I would have stopped summoning minions, but then at that point, you well, saw how- Well, if you realize he doesn't have any other way to kill his opponent, the only true. way is to use trolls. So he literally trolled his opponent. Like, the, the inery is true <laughs> on this match though. Like, it was played so well. Like, it, it was definitely a good combat where, where it went on his health going his uh -huh. health, you know, dwindled a lot faster, but then Mycin has kept on, you know, bombarding him slowly but surely, looking for the right times to hit. Do you, do you and think have uh, that minion, minion as distraction? And the minion, when it did survive, had some utilities, had some uses, mm -hmm. like traps, hexes, blades, everything you could see. Curses. So, so hopefully though, him. um, he takes out uh, one of his other bubbles because he has two bubbles. Because I assume mm -hmm. he was trying to, um, have it where like if the opponent like bans the other bubble, he wouldn't be screwed mm -hmm. in terms of bubble control, as bubble control is something that he. <laughs> would prefer to have. So the thing is, I 100% see the minion getting banned. This is exactly like the first game when we saw Spectral Blast. The minion is as OP as Spectral Blast. Maybe not in damage wise. Like maybe but he was just originally just thinking pressure. that the minion would be a pain, but oh yeah, because the cause minion when you... is, was his key to winning. Now, this would also indirectly probably give him an extra attack spell, so he at least has more uh, capabilities because, uh -huh. uh -huh. you know, obviously you saw Ninja Piglets and uh, lore master and and scorpion as you know alex's spells that you use by, the, by the looks of last game the way that mason came back i definitely am rooting for me like first game i was with alex 100 i was like that is crazy the fact that he can do that like he can deal that much damage and going through all his 70 percent rebalance resist but with mason's comeback last turn mason that that was amazing. Like the, the minion strat, I did not I did not expect that, and probably Alex did not. Alex was like, probably the minion's just gonna maybe what? What well, didn't Mason choose uh, keeper as an offensive hit? Uh, he did not. So the spells. So before the bands, uh, here's what he, he chose. He chose Saga. Uh, make sure I'm reading it right. Uh, yeah, I was reading it. Okay. Uh, Saga of, Saga of Heroes, Time of Legend, um, Tower Shield, Athena, Talos, Ninja Pig, Brace, and Troll. So. Arguably, he should have just only had one bubble um, and put that with, like, Keeper of the Flame, honestly. Because you mm -hmm. want it, because depending on, on the school, you, you may want more utilities or more defensive cards compared to uh, attacks. But in that case, extra attacks, like, he would have won the match so much faster if he had other spells. Though, you could argue mm -hmm. that, that using Troll could have been a smart move by having a low pip 
effective hit that you always have, and your, your pips go towards Talos, and it's a way to distract and use your opponent's pips. Like, like, like that may seem simple, but like it is much more complicated than than you would think. Like, it is truly a beautiful, beautiful match done. Mm -hmm. The really mess with her brain though. Like, th this is literally the mind games game mode. Oh yeah, you may have put two bubbles. So yeah, I know. So one wouldn't be banned, but some stuff. But but uh, so so Alex's bans were uh, Athena and Ninja Pigs, as because he was thinking, okay, if I just limit my my opponent's uh, attack spells, I can go I can go ahead and make it where he won't really be able to do high damage to me. But no, he just w windles you down though. Like, that's the thing. Like, you can look at this game mode in many different ways. And remember, you're in the moment, you try to really think of what is a good ban to make this harder on my opponent. But sometimes, that may not, like, that, that's, like that's their A, like, yeah. it's the A plan you got rid of, but their B, C, D planned plans can work really well otherwise. Like, your deck is limited overall. It, it really is a deck building game mode where you really think of what six cards, or what, or what combination of six out of eight cards will allow me to win. Make it where like you're you're fine no matter what the bans are. Now sometimes your extra cards to prevent the banning could go south, as we see here, because you know in match one, um, Mason underestimated Spectral Blast's power, so that is definitely taken out. Mm -hmm. And then in match two, uh, the underestimation of Talos, because mm -hmm. like if 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 you sacrifice one of the hits for Talos, the match might have won been the other way. It might have been closer. Who knows? Mm -hmm. It really is just hard to tell. No, I definitely and, and maybe, getting bad. And maybe you think um, he might try to put up two minions in his deck, except um, like instead of just having I, one. I don't story. know. He could do that as well, having extra minions. Just like, at least having at least. The thing is, if he does not ban a minion and leaves, it's both, just the issue I mean, is uh, Talos is probably the most efficient minion in terms yeah, of one hundred percent survivability. That's yeah. the problem. One hundred health is crazy, dude. He's, well, one thousand. Health. Two, a two, one th I mean, sorry, one thousand health. The fact zero. that he can't kill him uh, with two pips is just, you know, way too much. He has to waste at least anywhere between. Uh, he has to waste four pips or just get lucky with a critical. Yeah, critical scripting. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, will Alex go and try to go with a Hydra? Hydra Spectra? Spectral? Mm -hmm. As a way to feel... potentially have healing? Because he could do that. And if Mycin sees it as a threat, he could at least have healing back. Because that mm -hmm. may be a way to bait out... Um, bait your opponent out to ban the thing that you don't really care about or know would already be banned, but then have the ability to heal. Because if you have healing, that's critical because it's kind of like almost unwritten rule where in this game mode, you if the opponent does healing, you may want to really consider banning healing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, red uh, red flagged um, availing hands was banned. Uh, yeah, yeah, availing banned was banned. Otherwise, he would be using it and survive. Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. If 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 availing hands was there, it would have been totally different. Because what would happen is, as soon as he went down, remember when he was at two two point, he was at what four k, uh, and you were like, uh, oh, he's at four k. You know, that's why I'm kind of going with Alex right now. If he if he had went back down to two k like he did, he would have just healed himself back up, and you know the game would have been totally different. He would have just kept at it, you know, throwing reshuffles and. Let's let's start talking match. Let's start talking match. Oh, Mike's camera. All right, let's go. go. So. Mycin goes first. Match three Wait. has begun with with Mycin getting his good old first arena. Mycin also gets the advantage of going first right now. Huge advantage. All right, he's already starting off strong with with everyone's favorite spell, Talos, that literally won him the game. Mm -hmm. So you think we're gonna we'll see, see an earthquake goes. next turn? Wait, what? You think we're gonna see an earthquake? I mean, not an sandstorm. earthquake, a sandstorm next turn. Yeah, like earthquake. Uh, earthquake from, <laughs> uh, from Alex. Uh, hello. <laughs> no. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. So, I'm really interested to see, particularly the damage output that a sandstorm does. Because mm -hmm. I really want to know if it's gonna be a one shot or not. Yeah, because if it's a one shot, cool. If it's if it if it's it could be a risk that it's not a one shot though. Oh, he's uh -huh. not taking it out though. He's just taking out a shield. So he did predict a shield, but at the same uh -huh. time, and because he's first, because before he wasn't first, uh -huh. which his made first it a lot harder. Ten, uh, so minion's ten times more useful. Yeah, so minion will always get one spell off before he dies. always one spell before or... before he's even targeted. So mm -hmm. Mycin's always going to have some form of advantage versus it kind of being a downhill battle, but still being a way to save health and being effective from second.
So, like the minion already pulled off a blade and trap. Well, I guess on, before on him. Alex even targeting him. Now, hopefully, the Talus gets to survive one round, one more round, and this isn't enough damage. Let's find out. True. It's a crit, so the probably, critical. I don't think dead. Happen. Yeah. But hey, the minion at least gave um, a trap at least. Okay, that's fourteen hundred. So. So yeah, without without a crit though. Palace survives, and that was the problem last time. But at least he's doing some damage to uh, uh what's uh Mycin right now? What's 75% to 1400? 75% to 1400? Yeah, because you take out 25. Uh probably I don't know. Uh, guys, I don't have a calculator on me right now. 75% right, you know, let's, let's do uh Twitch plays mouth. Yeah, let's go, guys. T Tell me, chat. What would it be? Would, would he still be dead with the minion? I, I'm kind of thinking maybe, but like my mind is uh, currently uh, full, fully awake enough to figure that out. So we have chat. Seventy-five percent of fourteen hundred, guys. Yeah, seventy-five percent of fourteen hundred. What is that? Or just you know, take away twenty-five percent from from fourteen. You know, whatever that is. There, there are a couple Wait, ways. It's gonna to be do above it. a thousand. It's gonna be above a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Probably right. Critical? No, criticals. No, it is uh, twenty-five. It is twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah, that's one, what that's 1, what the password okay. said. So yeah, it kills. It was one three though. They made it from one three, but then it nerfed it more. Mm -hmm. Unless like I'm really yeah. just, unless like it's changed and no one and they haven't told us. Three three three. Yeah, I'm pretty nah, sure. Nah. I'm pretty sure it's twenty-five. Uh, is it three 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 three? Let's try it out after um, a match. We'll try to figure out the number for that, but I'm pretty sure it's one two five. Ten fifty? So yeah, in that case in that case he just has just enough damage where that sandstorm is good enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I, so it that is was actually more economical though. It is economical. But still, the fact that um He has you know, to Talus spend comes an out and AoE versus but just a ninja that, piglet, but or, the thing or is that Talus always gets a, a guaranteed, you know, yeah, card. So like it is on, fifty times so. more useful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The sand would have done 1078. Well, 1078 is enough regardless. So, yeah, he's good yeah. regardless. It's just the crits is more useful for Mason, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, that's stun. He, he, now, I'm sure he wishes he had stun block on then, but <laughs> that's the issue, though, with, with Talos, though, because Talos great. is now first. He, he has to have that prediction. So, inevitably, uh -huh. Talos may just keep doing stuns and it keep going around. So, that's, that's uh -huh. the thing. Uh -huh. That was amazing by Talus. Yeah, you can see the AI just uh, knows how to do it. Now, speaking of <laughs> useful spells, Athena Battle Sight with the crit and the shield. How, how would you feel if, if crits just double shields? <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be terrifying. So broken. <laughs> that would be terrifying. That would be almost a 70% shield with that. Oh my god. That would be crazy. You'd be Tal like nice. Talus, though, is being selfish. This one. Blading himself twice. Yeah, but he at least stunned, which was beneficial. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you notice here that Alex hasn't really messed with with Mycin directly, so that Talos is having at least one more move. So maybe Talos will use something with his blades and mm -hmm. somewhat be efficient, right? Because what matters for him is it does shield removal, it can do stuns, it, it can do an AoE, if it, it was a minion, but it doesn't really matter. Like, he has like 50 different options. Like, Talos just does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Traps true, even, true. You know, universal traps, myth traps, yeah. uh, myth blades, you know, the economy that, oh yeah, he Ooh. also has this. So let's just say he had a double double shield, right? Let's just say Alex had double, two shields. That, Done, that means non nothing against Talos. Talos is able to literally say no. Just, just <laughs> no. Like Talos is a champion and Talos will be Alex's vein. That's literally what it is. Mm -hmm. That's the issue though. Like in that scenario, it may just be more economical for Alex to have brace on most of the time if they're well. I don't know. Shields are so good though. You got you have to time them more though. That's the issue. Uh huh. Especially when you have the minion and going from second. Like this is literally an uphill battle. Yeah. Like both yeah. of them have figured out the cards that really did benefit each other a lot. So they're, they're much more equal now. Like now there's a mm -hmm. way for Alex to take out the minion and. Also, not lose out on damage, which was his failure. It was his plus. Mycin, his Mycin doesn't have the extra critical and extra peers to kind of go through the resist. So you know, Mycin has that disadvantage because Alex banned that. But this is a a really interesting game, though, because yeah, the evolution really was great because we went from 
You know, we went from having it where Alex dominated the match with just Spectral alone as he went through resistance. Mm -hmm. And then second match was underestimating Talos and not having um, an economical way to keep pressure on both opponents and taking Talos uh -huh. out. And Talos literally was how Mason survived. Because without Talos, uh -huh. Mason would have been dead long ago. And then now here, um, Alex at least has an option against Talos. He took out the bubble. Uh, and mm. he took out King Art just so he can spike him in damage. True. Though, though the bands uh, do similar remain in availing and spectral for on the other end, so they're pretty even though in terms of capabilities. And of course, these lore mm. masters are not as uh, powerful as before. They're more key position cards where they're for utility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since both of them don't have infallible. They are stuck with the 35 to 40 ish resist that, or piercing they have. So, out of the, out mm -hmm. of the 70, both of them have 70 resist. So, you know, they're both at max keep peak capacity in terms of our stat limitations. And that fizzle, oh. So, you know, anything can happen. Anything can truly happen here. True. I'm excited to see if uh, Mycin is going to keep uh, summoning Talus or not. I think because... it still is economical, even though he does now take damage most of the time from mm -hmm. the sandstorms. But then again, remember it, it's a sandstorm compared to a lore master slash other stuff. Yeah, that does almost double the damage towards uh, or, or piglets. So I'm just saying, it, it, it still is a diversion he, strat. You just take less damage compared to zero damage. Roll. That's the thing. You he get, did it, lore master two turns in a row. That's a DQ. Wait, what? The, the, he did two, lore master two. He turns messed in up. A row. He messed up. Referee. Referee. Two round cooldown. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that, that's going to be did, a rematch, though, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Ooh, know. I don't know. The, I don't know what the rulings here. Uh, oh, but uh, I don't know. We'll, that we'll, is very. We'll find that out. Is but yikes! Tough. That would be a horrible way to go out because you guys were having such a great match, and then. Rule mm -hmm. violations. Rule violations. I am hoping, honestly. He was still on cooldown. It's probably DQ, a DQ, yeah. though. Like, unless unless the ref team really is being kind. And now, keep in mind, uh, Mycene would still have the first, though. The spells would still True. be locked in. If they True. choose to go ahead and redo the match and say, this is your one warning. But it may just be a DQ, though. They're at the mercy of the referee. And you never want to be at the mercy of the, of the referee, though. That's... That is the dilemma mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It's probably a DQ. Because that is a pretty is serious terrifying. role infraction. But sometimes it it depends, though. Mm -hmm. It depends on the context they see. Now, yeah. did, the, did the ref mention you're on a cooldown? Technically, the referees aren't... aren't, um... aren't required to do that, as that's not within our rules to, re to always remind you. Sometimes they do. It's, it's about referee courtesy. Yeah. It really is round four. It is indeed a semifinals. Yeah, so, it's I mean, round four. We'll find, we'll find out no. the verdict, though. We'll find out the verdict on what's happened. Uh, by the way, type him out in order to enter um, the giveaway for a cat ears hairstyle. Yeah, guys. Hello. Hey, Hello. what's Hello. the what's the choice? I'm going around all the streams and telling you guys that since um since Alex broke the lore master cooldown rule, that it is resulting in a disqualification, all and right. Mycin is advancing to the finals. All right. What, what a way to lose. What a Absolutely. way to lose. It's, it's really sad. It really is. Because this match could have right. been anyone's game. But it that's, really that's the official law yep. from, from our um, wrote, ref team. He, thank, he thank wrote you. the rules. Thank you, base. So that's what happened. Thank bye you, bye. Base. All right, guys. That, that was the verdict. That is Ouch. the law. Ouch. I mean, I was thinking it's like it's like a 90% DQ. But, you know, benefit of the doubt, right? Benefit of the doubt. Yeah. To be fair, they already had multiple matches to kind of decide it. It's just... That was a deciding choice. Like instead of it being one person won, one person lost, it was you win by default because of DQ. No one wants a no one wants DQs, but it's a rule, and the game doesn't allow us to say, "Oh, the card gets grayed out for two rounds." You can't do that, so you kind of have to follow the rules. We do this as it's the most fair. But oh my gosh, Lore Master always gets to us all. Oh. Just, just, just a giant F in chat that, that, that for Alex. Bad. I guess Mycin gets to go back to the finals. Um, um, isn't the other match also done too? Oh, let me take a look at the bracket. Um, oh, it is. So Jordan, the other myth. So it's going to be myth versus myth. 
Two Myth Wizards. Ooh. Two Myth Wizards in the finals, um, going with the super secret game mode. And because it's called Super Secret, they'll find out whenever we officially start round round five. But oh. this will be very exciting, guys. The super secret game mode is amazing. You'll see. We can't we can't give it up early. Though. We can't give anything yet. E but... Even yeah, we want to make sure that our players have the same exact time uh, time Except to plan it. and prepare. 